Guys, welcome to another commentary done by the upper left hand corner. We have Zeski. Bottom right hand corner, we have Nagnar starting as the purple Zerg. This is going to be Infested Terran Cup. If you so I'm gonna give the shout out to minions in chat and chat. I believe in you, minions. And your motivation. He'll know what that means in the YouTube cast down the line. This is on August grad, which I've not seen this Infested Cup map yet. I've not seen this map at large, if it is a map that's been in a tournament. So random lurker eggs, natural expansion, kind of interesting stuff. Uh, Bob's guns selling some stuff up in uh, the upper corner. Uh, several people, well, enough people, were asking, the important people were asking, what's this tournament about? This is basically just a fun, infested, uh, it's a fun, it's a used map settings map. So effectively, the way this works differently from other maps is each player starts with an infested command center and two overlords. If your overlords or infested command centers touch other infested command centers, you can kind of capture them around the map. And that is it. You have standard maps, oftentimes goofy maps. We saw crazy critters. And it's a tournament, straight up tournament bracket from there. The winner getting 10 smackaroos and mod ship on Dead Infested's Discord, which is a pretty big deal. Because, by the way, hi Dead Infested. If you, I assume if you're watching this channel in one capacity or another, that you are on the inside of Brood War. Like, in fact, if you found this channel, you can consider yourself, it's like, yes, I am a Brood, I think I am the line between being a Brood War Insider versus not a Brood War Insider. It's like, you know, you might have seen ta a StarCraft cast if you know who Tasteless or Artosis are. If you watch taste Tasteless or Artosis regularly, you know, you're, you're probably a nominal fan. If you know what BSL is, you're getting more serious. If you know who Diggity is, you're old school and on the inside. Now, here's an inside tip for all the StarCraft people out there. If you see Dead Infested in any of the chats, he's, I think he's a mod in practically every StarCraft channel out there. You gotta say hi to Dead Infested. It's a rule unspoken rule yes that people learn anyway nagnar getting early captures we do see an overlord making this way for zeski zeski is going to at least know that his opponents to the south upon seeing this infested command center floating in this direction he's got most of the captures on the interior sizable advantage looks like taking gas much more rapidly this time and sending out additional scv scouts wanting to get the eyes which would be which is incredibly important this time we're seeing a spawning pool down for Nagnar rather than the 12th pool, so it looks like he's thinking about at least producing Zerglings as a thought. Another critical, actually a big bonus, if you can capture these Overlords, which I should mention in these matches, it looks like an Infested Terran already out for Nagnar, is critically you don't need to build supply if you can capture these Overlords as well in these Command Centers, because these Command Centers add supply. So you can see Zeski at 34, uh, comparatively Nagnar at 19 to 49. I'm gonna try to keep an eye on the infested terror. It's the part of the problem is it's hard. It's this fast-moving one, the bottom left -hand corner. We're gonna lock view on him. Still no scout out for Zeski. He's making his way to the upper right. Looks like basically everything exterior has been captured by Nagnar. So large advantage is early. He's trying to get a front door seal, and it looked like he wanted. Oh my goodness, he wanted to do infested defense. Unfortunately, loses two infested Terrans of his own to the one infested Terran for Dagnar, so big losses early, also losing that barracks, and they did not get a cancel. This is still wandering in, trying to get another infested Terran out. Let's see if he, and he's bunching up his SCVs once again. This is an anti-bunch map. You don't want to bunch them up. Zeski losing additional Terrans. He looks like he ha does have another infested Terran. He's trying to camp it on the ramp. He does need to keep that in a defense position to remain relevant in this map, and I like that concept. Just keep the infested Terran planted, force an explosion there, or explode, use it defensively, and try to get... Here's the thing, If I think if Terran... Oh, missing it again! Okay, there you got the, the suicide off. I do think if you can get the barracks up, if you can get sufficient amount of Marines where you can take down an infested Terran more rapidly than your opponent. Looks like we did, by the way, sneak an infested Terran around this corner, so this could be an X factor. This could be... Uh, the difference, well, actually, no, sorry, that's an Overlord overhead. That That's still an Infested Terran on that back corner. Another, Some additional uh, Infested Terran here. No Infested Terran to provide defense. Still the SCV scooting out of the way, trying to get damage done. Is that going to force? It does force an explosion. And another Infested Terran providing that blockade. It looks like this SCV is going to be able to scout out and see. This is interesting, a morph to lair and a hatchery being grabbed. Now, here's the thing. The Marines, I think the comparative strategy for Zerg is if you can get to Lurkers and get sufficient z Lurkers on the ground, then maybe you can kill the Infested Terrans before they're just absolutely obliterating your base. Is he going to waste? Uh, I'm not sure he wants to waste it. And that, this is the thing. Infested Terrans cost money, where this SCV are cheap. Uh, so I'm almost wondering if, and let's see if, 
Is the defense going to be here for Nagnar? Misses it, trying to trail back, but they have equalized movement speed. Trying to get a cutoff lane here. Does manage... To, oh, he misses. Explodes too late. So this is going to be a counterattack opportunity now for Zeski. The drones are scattering some... But some Zerglings right in time. Nice. Okay, this... Yeah, it turns into a Banely map. Only two drones taken out. You can see Nagnar actually being heads up and getting the drones spread out rather than grouping them up. So it almost turns into a StarCraft II map. In the meantime, some nice defense on the opposite side of the map from Zeski. It looks like the players are slowly figuring out how to play this. Some spread here. Zeski... Try, yeah, look at that drone spread. Keeping it pretty well spread. Unfortunately, grouping up a little too much after the fact. And now drones once again getting wiped out. Really, it's, we'll see if we get some counter defense. Some nice counter defense from Nagnar wiping that out. Zeski not doing a very good job of spending... He needs more gas. Right now, he's uh, gas-starved and mostly over-mineraled. Trying to get a barracks up now. And that's going to open up an opportunity for Nagnar to continue to press through this. Supply-wise, it's about dead even. you got a three-supply lead, or three-worker lead. He's, so I like how players are just kind of figuring this out as time goes on. Zesky realizing what he needs to do when an Infested Terran gets in that base. You can see him with the SCV spread as well. We do have this... Okay, so there's a lone, looks like one exterior Infested Terran command center to, exp, uh, to produce on this side of the, the map. We have the lair up. I'm interested to see what's going to happen out of this lair tech. Uh, still Infested Terrans being produced all over the place in the middle of the map. Two SCVs are blockaded there, so keep in mind this is going to put Zeski effectively at 10 mining SCVs compared to the 14 for Nagnar. Barracks being plopped down. And this could be a critical thing. If Again, I feel like if sufficient Marines can get out there, if you can get enough Marines in play, you might have a sufficient cheap defense, a non-gas costing defense, to obliterate Infested Terrans before they're able to wipe you out. Nagnar looking for a defensive option of his own. He's going to plop down Sutton Colonies and go with, it looks like the, yeah, he's going to go for a Sutton Colony of Defense. Now I'm curious, I'm curious to see how many hits from Sutton Colonies, if, if this is sufficient effectively to defend against multiple incoming infested, uh, infested Terrans. Someone in chat is asking, can you steal a CC? No, I think once you've capped them, once you've capped an infested command center, they are yours. Also, other interesting mechanics, infested command centers don't burn down. I think they regenerate health when they take damage. And I think with this, nice hit on hit, I do believe Nagnar is going to try to sneak this up. I wish it changed color instead of just staying red. I think he's going to try to sneak this up and land it in the pocket corner and try to do some damage from there. He's going starport. Interesting play. So maybe wants to get some Wraith out? to knock down some overlords that would be that'd be interesting to see <clears throat> we see a spire being built on the opposite side of the map for nagnar so it is possible that he's just going to do a flat tech switch he's got two bases running hasn't grabbed a second gas as of yet a couple zerglings wandering up they're going to find a disappointingly sealed front door yeah scv is easily able to dispatch and that zergling taking a lot of damage but that is a bit of a distraction on that front Keep in mind, an infested turret back here while this command center is able to float in. Now, see if it just goes for scouting, if it's in fact going to land. Now, here's the thing. Zeski may not see it if it lands in this corner, but it looks like he's just going to go ahead and walk it into view. Just let it be seen. And is that going to pull... That's the next question. Is that going to pull the Marines back? Looks like a single SCV just going to try to sit underneath it. A Wraith being produced to go ahead and deal with this. But the Spire being finished on the opposite corner. I don't see any hatcheries, additional hatcheries being produced out in the field now this could be creative because the wraith can be utilized to go ahead and knock first of all overlords but also uh, the infested command centers that are exposed out in the field uh, just wipe them out however with sufficient amount of gas and uh, minerals it like let's see if nagnar can get it done he's he is producing some mutalisks he might be able to get some mutalisks out in the air to go ahead and counter this in the meantime that front door being opened wide open so four marines is not the sufficient number some more SCVs getting wiped out Zeski down to 16 SCVs. And it looks like that Wraith going to go ahead and ignore that command center and just make its way across the map. And is it hoping... So it looks like it is going to go... Well, it was thinking about the Overlords. Now it's making its way back to the front in a defensive maneuver. Second Wraith being produced. However, we do have three Mutalisks up on the opposite side of the map and uninfested Terran walking its way across. The Wraith trying to assail these Zerglings. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Because it's a long time just to kill Zergling. I'm not sure how effective the Wraith are against... First of all, they're not very good at, against Mutalisks. Another Infestor Terran going ahead and sneaking across. Ah! Oh, 
Not a good scatter, and a huge explosion on the opposite side of the map. Zesky able to do an immense amount of damage with that Infestor and one SCV scattering behind the line. A missile turret being produced to try to provide some defense against these Mutalisks, but the Mutalisk tech switch, honestly, without sufficient defense and more Mutalisks grouping up, they're actually... Let's see if they focus on the SCVs. Yeah, there's GG from Zesky. So tech switch to Mutalisk instead of Infestor and ends up winning it there. We will move on to the next set of matches in the round of 16. Or is it this the round of eight? I forget which round I said. I'll let you know in the next cast. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.